Hi, this is Jim Brandt with Best Practical, and today I'd like to show you uh, one of the other new features in RT44, and that is default values on new tickets. So a lot of times you have custom fields, other values on tickets, and when a new ticket is created, you like to just set a default if someone doesn't pick a value for that. So now we've made that uh, super easy. You could do it in the past by setting up a script, but now it's actually available right through the admin interface. So I'm logged in as root here, and if I go in and uh, we'll click on the queue, and you see I have a couple queues here. So let's check out the support queue. If you go into the queue configuration here, you'll see that there's a new value down here, uh, which is the default values uh, in this submenu. So if I click on that, you can see some of the values that I can now set a default value for. Uh, so in dates, these are date fields for starts and for due. But probably what you want to do is set it to a relative date value. You don't want to set it to today because then next week all of the due dates on tickets will be today, which won't make any sense. But if I set it for three days, what will happen is when a new ticket gets created, the due date will automatically be set for three days in the future. Uh, so essentially that's sort of a mini sort of simple SLA that you could set on that. The other thing you can do is if you have custom fields, as you can see down here on your ticket, you can set default values for those. So I just have one here, but if you have multiple custom fields uh, available, you can set uh, all of them with different default values so that when the new tickets get created, that's the value that they'll have. So if we go in, this is the support queue, create a new ticket. We'll see that when the create ticket page comes up, you already have the, uh, the default value there. So that's already set to low. If I go ahead and create this ticket, uh, you'll see that that gets set. I could have changed it if I needed to, but again, the default value is set. And we'll also see that the due date, uh, today's a Friday, this is being set, the due date is set for three days in the future. Uh, it's handy to do this for the web interface, obviously, because it does set those default values, but it's even more useful uh, for tickets that are coming in via email because uh, you can't set, uh, typically just by using a standard RT, uh, different values through an email, but this will take care of that. So when the new ticket gets created, it will get the default values. So there's one other place where you can set these. There's times when you have custom fields that are global. You have them on every one of your queues. So you can actually set a default value on uh, the custom field itself. So if we go into severity, just as an example, you'll see on the custom field configuration page here, the default value is also right here. So that if this custom field is used again globally or it's on many different queues, you can come in and you can just set that default value here and you don't have to go to all the individual queues to configure that. Hope you enjoy this new feature. We think it's super useful and thanks for listening.